Oh, what's up, Kingdom Kids? It's your girl, Yada, and I'm here with the word for the year. Yes, your father has blessed us with the word for the year, y'all. Now, I know I've been gone for a little minute, y'all, but I'm back, okay? I just had to tend to the family, and, you know, my family is the first ministry, right? So I had to tend to the family and the home life and just take care of some things with me and my children, you guys, because... That's the first ministry, okay? But I miss y'all so, so much, family. I really, really do. I miss you guys. I love you guys. And I pray that you all had a blessed start to your year, a blessed start to your week, okay? I pray that you guys have been prayed up and spending time with your father, okay? Now, listen, y'all, I have already prayed and blessed this space. Y'all know how I do, right? I done welcome the Holy Spirit in and welcome the good Lord in, right? But, Father God, I still ask that you step in and take over, Father God. Speak to me. I am your vessel, Father. Speak to your children and make sure this word is delivered the way that you intended. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, listen, I don't know who needs this today, but I do believe this is going to bless the kingdom because it's the word for the year. So I'm going to give it to you guys how God gave it to me, and I pray that it's a blessing. Now, please do not, uh, please remember to get the word back before God in prayer and test the spirit, okay? Still get it back before God. But the Lord is saying right now, guys, he said this will be a year of reaping. I would say that again. Your father said this will be a year of reaping. Okay, so when God first gave me his word, he said, expect returns. Okay, and this was like the end of December, right? He said to start expecting returns. And um, I was like, okay, God, returns on what? Like, what do you mean? Because it could be many things. And I honestly, at first, I thought he was talking about people expect people to return so some of you guys it may be that okay but god is saying right now this is a reaping year expect a return on those things that you have sown those things that you have invested in right so whoever this is for god is saying baby this is going to be a reap year for you and I'm believing that as a collective, as a family, okay? As we put in work, right? We put in work. Like I said, this ain't going to be for everybody, but whoever this is for, baby, you put in work. You sold your seed, and this is time for a harvest. And y'all, I wrestled with God. I was like, Lord, are you saying for a season? He was like, no, baby, I'm not saying you're having a reaping season. Come on now. He said, you're going to have a reaping year. This is your year to reap what you have sown. In order to, to reap in the harvest, you must have sown, right? You must have sown, and y'all, keep it real. All seeds were not good. All seeds were not godly, but you can expect a return. And I just, he can't hear the Lord say, all year, baby. <laughs> all year, expect a return, all year, okay? And I'm telling y'all, y'all, God gave me this thing so deep. Um, At the end of December, he said to start expecting returns, and like the 2nd of January, I saw a license plate that said uh, tenfold, <laughs> tenfold. So I knew what the Lord was speaking about, okay? And um, I took a photo. Y'all know I always take a photo so I can bless you all with it. I'm going to post that photo for you guys, okay? So it can give you some confirmation and bless you, all right? But your father is saying right now, baby, this is the year of returns. This is the year of reaping. This is your reap year, okay? I know sometimes uh, some of you guys have been putting in work, or, you know, you put in work all 2023, and some of y'all, it wasn't just one year, baby. You've been putting in work for years. Amen. You've been putting in work for years, seeing very little progress, okay? Uh, 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 but you haven't given up. Amen. You haven't given up because we know in the kingdom of God, baby, slow motion is better than no motion. Come on now. Slow motion is better than no motion. And God is saying, baby, you continue to invest. You have sown your seeds. Uh, uh, invest in relationships, a business, career, your time, your money. And some of you guys have sown tears. You have sown tears. And y'all know the word saying when we sow tears, we reap in joy. So everyone is not going to have the same harvest. But I'm telling you, your father say this is your year to reap. Amen. This is your reap year. Come on, somebody receive that thing by faith, baby. Say, this is my reap year. Come on now, say that thing out loud. Say it like you believe it. Say, this is my reap year. Well, now, you've been sowing. You've been sowing. Are you ready for the harvest? Come on now, say that thing out loud. Then somebody go down there in the comments and type it out. Say, this is my reap year. Come on now, say it with your chest today, baby. Say it like you believe it. Say, this is my reap year. 
Yes, God say, baby, you did not give up. Come on now, you did not give up. You shall reap the harvest. Amen. You shall reap in Jesus' name. Listen, y'all, let me give y'all some scripture, okay? Then I'm going to let y'all go. I love y'all so, so much, family. I really, really do, y'all. So, listen, God led us to Galatians, Galatians 7 through 9. Again, Galatians 7 through 9, I encourage you guys to go back and read it and let it bless you, okay? And say, listen, if this wasn't your word, baby, you didn't do no sewing, this is the time to start investing, okay? If you didn't invest last year, baby, start investing, Okay, let this be your investing year. All right, because you might get, you listen, you might get some returns on what you invest this year. Get this word back before God in prayer. But God is saying right now, baby, this is a year of returns. This is your year of harvest. This is your year of reaping. Okay, this is your reap year, baby. Listen, y'all, so this is what the word says. Again, it's Galatians 7, uh, 7 through 9. It says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the spirit, from the spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Come on now, I'm telling you right now, God say this year is your proper time. Come on now, this year is your proper time, baby, because you did not give up. You did not give up. It is time for the harvest. Come on now, this is your reap year. Do you hear me? Your father said, this is your reap year. Okay, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna drag it out too much, but I just wanted to get that word out there. I do have a couple more words for you guys, but whoever this is for, and again, I do believe it's gonna bless the kingdom because it's the word for the year. But everybody haven't been sowing seeds. Everybody have not been sown. So everyone is not going to receive a return. So I'm telling you right now, baby, if you did not sow last year, if you didn't sow the year before that, it is time to start investing. It is time to give your angels something to work with. Come on now. Give the Lord something to work with, baby. It's time to start investing. Okay? All right, y'all. Listen, uh, another thing, um, I do apologize for the delay. I still have um, four shirts. I sent out a couple shirts, but I still have four shirts, guys, that I'm going to send out this week. I just really been having a lot going on in my personal life, but I still want to get those shirts out for you guys so you can put them up for the kingdom of God. Like, it really amazed me how many of you all were ready to put on that faith-based um, apparel and put on for the kingdom, y'all. I wish I was able to send out more shirts, right? Uh, but I thank God for what he did provide. Now, one uh, one person did not send their address back. You didn't send your name and address back. I'm going to send the shirts out this Thursday. So if you can please get your um, get your address, your name and address back to me via email. The email address is G G E M. A L E X two eight two eight at gmail dot com. Again, your email address is G E M A L E X two eight two eight at gmail dot com. You were chosen. Um, you were selected to receive a shirt. I have yet to receive your address. I want to get those shirts sent out no later than this Thursday. So please go ahead and get that address and uh, your name sent over to me so I can get that shirt sent to you. Okay. All right, guys, listen, I love you guys so, so much. I thank you all for being a part of the family and being, you know, just uh, joining me on my journey, right? Joining me on my journey and allowing me to be a part of your journey. Okay, I thank you all. I thank you for your love, the comments, the, the likes, the shares. Okay, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for the new subscribers on YouTube, for the new followers on TikTok. Hey, family, I see you guys. So what's up, y'all? Welcome to the family, okay? Um, thank you guys. I thank God for what he's going to do with us this year. I thank him for returns, okay? We thank him for the returns already right now. We're believing for returns. We're believing for a harvest, okay? So we thank him right now. Amen. Amen. And guys, I also thank you for, for your encouraging emails. I also receive your, um, your prayer requests. I have been praying over you guys' prayer requests. I know I haven't been on as much, but your prayer requests, I have been covering your prayers. 
okay your prayer request i'm praying for you guys even if i didn't reply to you remember i replied to what the lord leads me to reply to but i am praying for you okay i thank you all for your sowing of seeds for your donations for the gifts that you guys have been sending in i thank you i thank you i thank you for your generosity thank you for giving into the ministry and god's vision for what he's going to do here with us as a family and as a ministry i thank you and i pray that god will will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you don't have room enough to receive amen it is in jesus name that i'm praying for you guys okay all right family y'all go out and live a blessed life all right you know the blessed life comes from first being a blessing <laughs>